Next I'm going to check if there is a new version of Xlot generator. From the Tuco guide I go into these. Xlot gen, let's see. Download the Xlot gen latest version here. I open the page. This is a beta. And we have Xlot gen beta 27. I wonder what version I have currently. Downloading Xlot gen 27 let's see my last x lot gen the last one is actually 22 so we are updating a lot x lot gen 27 so it's downloaded i open the archive go into x lot gen i will now delete the files from my current x lot gen folder replace them with the files from the new archive So Xlot Gen was now updated. Let's see if it still runs. Took a couple of seconds, then it started. And as you can see, it's based on Xedit 3267 indeed. And here it is. So Xlot Gen, newest beta version, is now updated. You might also want to scroll down and get the latest SSE terrain tunreal.esm. It's needed for Xlot Gen. I will just replace my old file. And you can see I have it installed here as a mod. Unreal 7z indeed. So let's delete this one from my downloads and I will go to where I downloaded it SSE Terrain Tamriel ESM just to make sure. Copy it. Actually, I will zip it. I will copy the zipped file navigate to the place where I have uh, the Skyrim Special Edition downloads visible uh, for mod organizer, paste it in here and now it is my last file here so I can double click it name it like that, name it the same way as it was click OK and the mod organizer will ask me because of the same name this mod is already installed what do you want to do with that I want to replace with the new mod and as you can see it doesn't have a version as this is a manually created mod however it has the date here and it's today's date so now the Xlot gen installation is uh, fully updated for sure <laughs>